Morning guys. Welcome back to another another solo camping mission up here in the in the territory. We've gotten here as early as we can. We're on this beautiful, beautiful creek here. The tide's incoming. The ocean is in that direction, only about 300 meters. So the uh, the mouth of the creek is just over there. We've got some uh, crab pots set up. We've got all our fishing gear. We've got a bit of bait. Uh, and yeah, we've got to hurry up and get these pots in because that tide is rushing in right now. Obviously it's a bit sandy here, so we've got to go through a bit of a trek through the mangroves, hopefully find a bit of mud. We'll get these pots in. Hopefully we'll get a crab for dinner. That first pot was a bit of a mission. That tide is just racing in and there's not much clearance to um, throw your pot. So just trying to put them wherever we can. The vegetation is so thick and there's not really any, I've just come too late, unfortunately. I'll try to get here as early as I can, but the, um, there's not really much clearance. So this is as good as it's gonna get for now, I think. <laughs> Be happy with that. She's hot. She's steamy. In the jungle, that mighty jungle. Also, throughout this little walk here, we're looking for any big holes within this mud. With a bit of a build up of mud at the mouth of the hole to indicate it's a fresh. Mud crab hole. Oh man, this is intense. I hate being under pressure. We're just racing up tide. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to chuck two back to where um, near where the car is because that tide is just it's just crept up a bit too far and it's just absolutely no access whatsoever. Um, but at least we've got two sitting in the mud and we'll chuck our two along here somewhere just where the car is so it's better than nothing. Got here at 6.30 a.m. Been up since 3, 3 a.m. So, <laughs> anyway, let's see how we go. And I thought this place was going to be chockers. So it's um, we're right at the beginning of the build up, the Northern Territory build up to the wet season. As you can see, it's starting to get really cloudy, overcast. Humidity is definitely uh, stepping up a notch, it's starting to get a lot warmer. But have a look at this absolute cracker. Like, no one's here. We've got this place pretty much all to ourselves couple of people over there they're really friendly had a chat with them we've got the creek here so i reckon we might call this home for tonight um relatively flat there's a nice big bit of uh, i think it's red gum there and then we can set the deck chair up here and soak a couple of baits straight out there and just spend the day here kind of thankful the uh, the sun isn't out because if it is out it, you just cook so Lots of blue sky down there, but for now, we're nice and covered. So we'll pull the car up here. We'll call this home for the night. And we'll have a good time. Do what you want, do what you want, do it.
Come on. Focus. Beep beep. Beep beep. There it goes. So that red dot's our crab pot. That away. Alright team, here we go. Looks like a beautiful spot. It's still underwater, it's been baking for about three to four hours. Hopefully it doesn't get a snag. Let's see how we go. We got muddies. Up there tiny. Two mud crabs. Undersized. But they're there. And another rock cod, so many rock cod. Lost a nipper in the uh, in the net there. They both did, but one little male. Another little male just lost its nippers. Little rock cod. The bait has been absolutely smashed. Oh, there's a little um. Mangrove Jack in there. <laughs> Let's get away from this water. Never caught a Mangrove Jack. There we go guys. Hope you can see that. Hope the angle, angles are right. Little Mangrove Jack. You'll be going back. We have a tiny couple of little crabs. Little baby crabs and a lure. <laughs> Two baby mud crabs. <laughs> Happy days. Happy days. They're so quick. Oh, oh they're like little ninja crabs. They're fast as. There we go. <laughs> Maybe our brother and sister, because we have a pregnant female. Maybe not brother and sister. <laughs> I said that wrong. Uh, maybe a husband and wife, but they're a bit young. Got a pregnant female. You got a male there. Look at the colours on that. Beautiful little muddies. But uh, fortunately, we won't be having them for dinner. Yeah, I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Land based mud crabbing, oh man, it's it's hard yucca. Got the two little crabs there. It's a shame we didn't get a big buck. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just extremely hard going. It's very exhausting <laughs> going through the mangroves and stuff like that, but I love it. Not gonna give up. I know I say that every episode, but we'll get one one day. So we've moved spots. There was a couple here this morning and they've now moved. So I've claimed this for ourselves. Um, and it's right at the creek here, so it's low tide. Pretty much got this whole entire area to ourselves. We've just had a couple of people rock up on quad bikes. They're just going for a bit of a wander through the shallows there. So, yeah, no, not a bad spot at all. So the sun's kind of set, I'm guessing, right there. Bit of breeze. Can't complain at all. So this is going to be our new little spot for tonight. And I've also I found a coconut. Now, coconuts are really good. Yeah, the tusk of the coconut's really good for a fire starter. So I've just shredded a bit of that off. We use that to light our fire. We have our small sticks. We've got our medium sticks. We've got our big sticks. We'll, uh, we'll chuck some coals on. And we'll start a cook up.
So for tonight's dinner, um, nice and easy, just went down to the local butcher. We've got an awesome butcher near where we live in Darwin. Uh, lamb riblets, lamb cutlets. Probably should have um, packed a bit more, but a little bit of green stuff. Nice and easy. So it could have been a lot better, but it could have been a lot more worse. So just forget how fatty lamb is and it just really arcs up fire up. So there's grub. We've got about two hours of sunlight left, I reckon. So sit back and just enjoy this. guys uh, last night's sleep was pretty good the temperatures dropped right down so it was actually um, it was probably the perfect temperature throughout the night I actually had to turn the fans off there for a bit so really good uh good for a change up here having a good temperature having a good night's sleep um, we've woken up to a nice and overcast day it's also keeping that heat away and the sun I know it looks pretty when the sun's out but it definitely helps with that heat because at the moment we're having really hot really hot days or pretty hot days and then it's just dropping nicely throughout the nights but that's all going to change it's just going to be hot throughout the day and throughout the night very shortly in the next month or two so 
just making the most of the cooler nights while we can. So um, I've just had a bit of a pack up at the Troopy, so we're good to go. Uh, we've got an incoming tide at the moment, so we'll probably go have a flick around for an hour or so and uh, see if we can catch anything. If not, we'll just hit the road. So I'm um, just on the way home. It's been a good couple of days. Um, well, nearly a couple of days. It's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Just on the way home. Two hour drive home. And I'm um, on the way home, just popping into the little local swimming hole. I'm a bit stinky, a bit smelly, so a bit of a freshen up will be good. We'll go for a bit of a dip, a bit of a bushman scrub. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure. Stay tuned for the next one because uh, we've got a good Good little day out uh, planned and uh, in the next couple of weeks we're jumping on the boat we're doing a bit of fishing at uh corroboree corroboree lagoon so that's going to be a cracker um surely we're going to catch a barra we're on the boat so until then stay tuned and thanks for watching